Okay, good day guys. Sapphire forty two here. Um, now um, I haven't done a vid for maybe a week to two now, so I better get back into it. Um, this video is going to be about a man called Zelko Kalach. Um, he's an Australian or former Socceroo. Um, and I'm really calling him, calling him to retire. Um, do us all a favour. Quit, um, because you're only embarrassing yourself. All right. First of all, if you don't know who Zelko Kalac is, um, like I said, he he well, he's an Australian. He was uh, born to uh, uh, Croatian parents. Um, was born in uh, Sydney, in New South Wales, in Australia. Um, he started his career with Sydney United in the old NSL. Had a stint in uh, Leicester City in England. Come back to uh, Sydney United. I know he's had a, a couple of stints in uh, Croatia, but uh, the war just started, so he came back very quickly. Um, he got a big break in Rota in uh, the Belgian League. Uh, had over 115 appearances for that club. Um, then got signed in 2002 to Perugia. Uh, I think they were in Serie B in the Italian league at that time. I uh, got 79 caps for that, and you may know him best, uh, best of all, as he signed and has played for four years now. AC Milan. Um, now let's get this straight. AC Milan is one of the uh, is arguably one of the best teams in Europe. When you go into their history, they've won the, the cup a couple of times and things like that. A um, very illustrious and prestigious club. Um, but why Zelko Kalach played for them, I have no idea. He's not very good at all. I think it was all all he had to do, all all that he he had to his benefit was his size. I think. Um, I mean, yeah, he was okay. He was a, he was a decent keeper. Um, had good reflexes like that, but. It really came down to his size, in my opinion. He was not very good at all. Um, and you can see that when he got signed to uh, AC Milan, um, he was he sat on the bench for four. He sat on the bench for four years and played 38 games for him. Four years, 38 games. Um, I know he did take the number one jersey off uh, Dida. Uh, that was right after Dida um, got hit by the Celtic fan and dropped to the floor and got banned. Um, Kalach had a couple of good games after that, got his number one, got the number one jersey, and that lasted of all of a couple of weeks. Um, but other than that, to my knowledge, he's never been a number one for AC Milan. Um, he's tried to be... He, I don't think he's been a number one since back in 2002 when he was at Perugia. And um, even then, I don't think he was number one, but he was number one uh, 1998 to 2002 with Rota in the Belgian League. Um, and of course, uh, back at home in the Sydney United in the old NSL. Um, now he has he has uh, 54 caps to his name for Australia. Um, and to be honest, the only reason he did play for them is because he was the best that we had at that time. And the other times he played was duly to the fact that we couldn't get a better goalkeeper. Um, he's never, in my opinion, been the best goalkeeper we've ever had. Um, we've always had better, but like. Um, at one stage, he was the number one goalkeeper, and that, uh, and that was only because we had the uh, Mark Bosnich of uh, was playing Manchester United at the time or Chelsea, um, didn't really give two stuffs about uh, the Australian team and didn't opt to play for them whatsoever. Um, so that's the only reason he did get called up for the number one jersey, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, looking back on. The uh, his career with the Australian team are not good. The, I mean, the, the thing, the only thing I remember for him, remember of him with the Australian team is the game against Croatia in the 2006 World Cup. Um, okay, maybe, just maybe, you couldn't, um, uh, you can't blame him for the first goal. It was a free kick uh, by Kovac, I think. Um, it was a good, very good free kick, but you know he's a tall bloke. He probably should have got to it. Um, so we can't blame him entirely for that. Um, but Basically, he nearly lost us the game. Um, we only come out with a draw. Probably should have come out with the win, um, but we didn't. We come out with a draw. Um, it was a it was a shot and goal. Uh, he dropped to the ground to pick it up, and it just popped right over his body, and that was it. We were two one down. Luckily, good old Aussie Jewel Harry Kuehl come on, come up and uh, scored it. Scored the goal, got us the draw, got us through to the round of sixteen. Um, but yeah, um, he. 
is an absolute joke, in my opinion. Um, I know when he was at Milan, people have asked him, are you going to retire here? He says, yes, I'm going to retire here because um, anywhere I go will just be a step down. I'm at the best club in the world. Now, these are his words. I'm in the best club at the world uh, in the world. Um, anywhere I go will just be a step down. Hey, Zelko, how about you go to a club and be the number one keeper, not sit on the bench for four years? It's just, it's beyond me. It's an absolute joke. He And up until now, he, um, there was four keepers at, for the for AC Milan. In the pecking order, Zelko was at number four. He's been kicked out by the club. He says that he left on mutual uh, grounds because the schedule was just too tough for him because he wanted to spend time with his family. Half the time, he wasn't getting picked in the team because... He's too busy sitting on... He's not good enough. He's fourth. A couple of Italian te- te- uh, teenagers were beating him. So now he's gone to this Cavala team. Um, from what I know, they're in uh, the Greek Super League. They've only just come up from the second division. Um, they've signed him and they've also signed um, Itenge. Uh, Charles Itenge from uh, Liverpool. Uh, he's on loan to... Uh, this uh, to the Greek club. Um, he's a very good keeper, Itenje. Um, he's only 26. Um, like I said, comes from Liverpool. Been on a study to Jose, uh, to our Pepe Reina. So that could only benefit him. Um, but yeah, Zelko Kalach is way too too old, in my opinion. He's he's he, it's just past him. It really has. His career is absolutely past him. I wouldn't even want him back in the A League, to be honest. Um, he wouldn't bring any more fans in because he's never been one of anyone's favourite, in my opinion, um, from what I know. So yeah, like I said, I'm calling you. I'm calling him out to say, look, uh, Zelko, um, I think you should retire, mate. Uh, you're embarrassing yourself. You said that you're at the biggest club in the world, and anywhere you'd go would be a step down. So you've stepped down to uh, one of the uh, Greek Super League teams. Um, they've only just barely got promoted to the league. Um, you're going to lose out to uh, Charles Intanger anyway, and you've also said that if we need help, you'll come you'll come back out of retirement and help the Socceroos in the 2010 World Cup. Well, buddy, we don't need you help need your help because you're not good at all. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry, mate. Please retire. Do us all a favour. Um, we're sick of hearing your crap. And uh, yeah, thanks for your time, guys. Catch.